Hi, this is David, and this is going to be my review on Word.ai. I really like Word.ai. I really enjoy it. It's a great opportunity and source that you can use when you want to make money online. Right away, I want you to take a look at this uh, this uh, promoting Word.ai opportunity. This is my affiliate link. It's going to be in the description. I'm going to get a 20% commission when you sign up for a subscription. Word.ai is cool, too, because it comes with its actual... Let me make sure this is my link. Yes, it comes with its actual um, trial. So even if people just want to give it a try and, and may keep it, it's a great way to be a gateway to get them in. And the product is fantastic. It's the best, I believe, on the market. It's been rewriters right up there. They just launched an update, which is a game changer. But Word.ai is what I commonly use um, more than any other spinner by far if I'm going to be taking content and spinning it and really trusting what Word.ai is going to bring. In addition to that, I use a lot of editing. I am an editor, and I'm very good at it as a PhD. So what I do is I really thoroughly look through the structures in the types of setting and placement of words and flow. And I really have come to appreciate what Word.ai can do. So I want to show you some of this. And I want to show you some of the integrations it does. Um, right off the bat, you see an API. You can API and integrate this with Article Forge. And Article Forge is great because in multiple ways you can use Word.ai. So we're in Article Forge right now. And I just want to show you where you can go ahead and spin an article with um, Word.ai. And you can do over 10 spins, but within Article Forge, it kind of limits you to 10 initially. Um, just initially, when you go to Word.ai, you can do so many spins. I think you can do a thousand right off the bat. You can spin it more if you need to. But um, when we go to place an article in, again, we can import one from Article Forge. We can copy paste one. Um, when we go to one, it starts with four. And then if you do more than four, you can actually right here, it says up to a thousand. Okay. So we got some great options there. Um, we will do most adventurous, but first I want to show you a couple examples. So um, we just did an example. I had to restart the recording um, because I was sneezing too much. And I know you all are probably very patient, but I didn't really think sneezing was too professional. So I want to give it another shot. Let's take a look at this. This is an article I made the other night with uh, Article Forge, beautiful article. And... I'm going to rewrite it right now in Article Forge, which again comes with a trial. I have links to both in the description. We're going to rewrite this with, okay, let's do readability. Let's do two. We're going to rewrite it with Word.ai. And I want you to see how quickly this does this. So it's taking that article. And look at that. It is spinning it. It is going to spin it beautifully with placement, with flow. It's probably going to sound better than the original article. Usually when I spin with Word.ai, it comes out even better. The sophistication is top notch. I'm very pleased with what I've seen. So it's done. Let's go ahead and take a look. And right away, I can see the article's generated down there so let's take a look at the spin there's the first one the original spun and the second spun and article um forge is great too because it has hdmi where you can put in headers and whatnot and when you do this and spin it um it's great because the embeds the links and the headers all the code you put in will not spin you don't have to worry about that spinning and i talked about that in my review for Article Forge, where you actually can put in code, um, you can put in links, and you can put in headers. See how we can actually replace keywords with links, which is huge. It's a game changer. Um, Article Forge is great, but when you spin it with Word.ai, those are all going to be spun safely. So let's go ahead and take that first article. You know what? Let's, let's actually import it. Okay, um, you know, this is so cool. I've never done this. We're going to go ahead and create a new one. Wow, 
This is awesome. So let's talk about let's talk about money. If we are about making money online. Keyword make money online. I want a long article. I want title. We're gonna go ahead and create it. This is fantastic. I didn't know you can do this. This must be a new feature with the update. Again, the cool thing about both of these are the facts that they continually update. So this is great information. This is really exciting. I'm excited watching this happen. Me and you are learning about this as we go along, even though I consider myself a pretty strong veteran when it comes to Article Forge and Word.ai. I use it now on multiple websites. I do have 32 Google News sites, and I could take a specific article, spin it 30-something times, and I have unique content each time. We will break that down, and I will show you how that works and how that looks so that I can save my brain power, I can save my self-time, and I can provide great content. And it's not diluting content also because I'm spinning with such sophistication and I'm being an editor. Um, Lois Lane might be the journalist, but I'm Perry White. I'm the editor. And I'm just checking to see if this is good, if this is bad. Word AI is going to always come out good and clean. You still want to take a little bit of a look though, but um, I don't have to worry about diluting with bad content. Again, sometimes you need to hear something more than once. There's multiple ways to get $10. Two fives, a $10 bill, 10 $1 bills. Again, multiple ways to get $10. Sometimes I'm learning a concept. I'm learning about Bitcoin and I need to hear more than once. I'm learning about NFTs, non-fungible tokens. I need to hear more than once what that means in many different ways of saying it. Sometimes I need to hear um, the more patient you are, the more wisdom you occur. Sometimes I need to hear that a different way. If you want to be wise, be patient. Sometimes, again, I need to hear that another way. Um, if you practice patience, you are on the path to wisdom. Again, I might need to hear it another way before it really clicks in and I can really take with it. Let's, let's try it another way. Um, with patience comes wisdom. So that's what we're doing when we're actually spinning a lot of this content and placing it in multiple ways. You are giving the audience an opportunity to hear it enough where it can really resonate um, and they can kind of understand the concept. If someone has no idea what it means to have $10, giving them two fives and then giving them a 10, and then giving them 10 ones. These are all great ways to help with that process. So here we go. Here's our article imported that we created from Article Forge right here within the software, which is great. Um, we're going to spin this four times. I went to most adventurous. Let's go ahead and spin. This is so fantastic. To write this, and to write, I just looked through it, and I, again, I have a PhD, so I look pretty quickly through articles. Um, but just looking through it, it was fantastic right off the jump. Okay. So right away. Let's take a look first at a uh, uniqueness score. 81% for the first one. 81 for the second. 81 for the third. Sometimes they differ. 81 for the fourth. Okay, pretty good. It's a 750-word article. If it was longer, obviously the uniqueness would be a little higher, but 81% is pretty fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. Looks good. Looks really good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, the cool thing is I can copy all that. I can highlight unchanged phrases. So I can see the parts. And this is something that's fantastic. I can see what's not changed, just in case I want to go in and change it myself. And I can do that with all the different areas. I can export this. Now, this is cool. I can export as HTML, which is awesome if I'm going to put it right into code and I want to add a few more things. Um, I can do as plain text, which I like to do quite a bit. Um, let's take a look at H. We can save it. Um, let's clipboard as well. 
copy the clipboard. When I go into code, I like it for a lot of reasons, but um, I like the idea that I can embed links. I can embed, I can embed links. I can embed YouTube videos. I can embed um, headers. And I can spit them, and they're all going to come out the same. So I have table of contents within my websites, and I might um, have you know four dimensions worth of levels. And I may want to spin an article 35 times and put that on every site, but I already have a table of contents, which is going, which is going to help out with my SEO. And then I also have my links embedded, which I want to keep the links. And then I have those YouTube videos embedded, which is again, going to help out the SEO with the links backlinking and also the, the, um, YouTube videos with the SEO. So great opportunities there for capitalizing on that. Um, before we go, there's a couple more things I want to talk about. Again, we talked about affiliate. The help center is pretty helpful. Uh, rewrite settings. You can um, protect specific words and synonyms if needed. Um, the bulk rewrite. Now, this is very powerful. This is probably the thing that makes this my favorite, even ahead of um, Spin Rewriter. So with the bulk rewrite, what I've done is um, I actually have a, a school that I own and I needed my content, which is 26 articles. And these are full long articles, some of them into 40 pages a piece. I needed them spun multiple times. So what I've done is I put them in this format, which is a dot C CSV. I've, you can also do it a different way. You can um, do it as a zip. The zip was a lot harder for me. I've tried it. I spent probably like five or six hours doing it and I couldn't really get it to go the way I wanted it to. Um, but when I did it in the CSV, I was able to get it done pretty quickly within an hour. And now I probably can do it within a couple minutes. So you're going to put the article name, whatever you name your article. And then you're going to put the uh, article number in the second column. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, I mean, one article, one column is the title. The other col column is the uh, content. Excuse me. So this is um, A would be the name, B would be the actual content, and you just go down. So I had 26, I go down, and with that, I have my, my content, and I would spin it. Now when you spin it, I spun my stuff four times. C, right here would be C, bunch of new articles. D, bunch of new articles. E, bunch of new articles f a bunch of new articles you do you kind of see how that works so you have b these are the original articles c the new spun d the new spun uh, e new spun and f the newly spun articles so that's what you're doing when you do the bulk rewrite you're going to get an option to take specific articles that you have. And again, I spent 26 at one time. This was fantastic. Very easy to use. I was able to get it to my virtual assistants and we were able to use that spun article information to help make our courses and our questions for our students. And they love them. They really enjoyed them. So this was the main reason I wanted to get Word AI. It was worth any every penny due to that factor. This bulk rewrite file is a game changer. I highly, highly recommend it. I think you'll be very happy if you give it a shot. So other than that, you have your saved articles here. You can always go back to them. You can always reference them and you can, uh, you know, you can delete them as well, but you can actually um, export these any way you want. You can export them as plain text. Also, you can export them as HTML, which is going to be right in code so that you have that opportunity to go ahead and um, embed and write in code specific things to your needs. Readability, you can have it in a regular, conservative. I would, I mean, uh, most adventurous. I usually do most adventurous, particularly if I'm doing a lot of files. Um, you can get away with conservative if you're having like under 10 files or whatnot, but I like to keep things usually most adventurous. I believe the spun information comes out better, far better actually, than it would have been if it wasn't spun, believe it or not. I think the AI, the word AI is that sophisticated. The help center is not bad, very helpful. Um, let's see, anything else we're missing? Let's go back to Article Forge, take a look. Article Forge's integration is 
is fantastic. It's very helpful. Um, let's go ahead and take a look down here. It's going to be very similar to how we did it when we pretty much ran an article forge IO, excuse me, article within word.ai. You put in a keyword, sub keywords, and you can go ahead and just let it spin right then and there here. And it will not only show you, whoops, not only show you the spun copies, but it will also show you the spun copies over here under saved articles. So all in all, this is a great resource. I really, really, really highly recommend it. Take advantage of the opportunity to make some money online promoting this and to save yourself time and energy as you make money creating content. So wishing you the best. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get more information like this as soon as possible so you can continue to thrive and continue to make money online yourself. So wishing you well. Take care and be well.